Hey everyone, today I thought we'd try something a little bit different on the channel. I want to see what homemade mayonnaise would be like compared to store-bought. Duke's mayonnaise. Well, a while back ago I was watching YouTube and watching one of the YouTubers on there make homemade mayonnaise. And coming from someone that, if anybody out there knows me personally, I am not fond of mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise much, but I realized what went in it. What, what all it took to make it. I mean, and I got to thinking. I don't think it was just eggs, oil, and lemon juice, some vinegar, flavor it with a little bit of mustard, some salt, and some sugar. I said, what's the big deal? So I went out and got me a burger and got mayonnaise on it. Something that I hadn't done in a long time. Big revelation that day. Something that I was apprehensive about. I went ahead and tried that and it was good but then I compared what the mayonnaise was on that to Duke's and I tell you I fell in love I liked it and then anybody out there that know me would tell you that oh my god he's talking crazy stuff he just wanted to do this to get some views no I tried it and I liked it so I'm gonna go ahead and make some of my own today only thing I'm missing is a farm fresh egg and I know where to find one so I'll be right back. Let's see if Dad's chickens has any eggs. We got a farm fresh egg. Look at that. And just like that, we're back with the farm fresh egg. So what you do, you take your egg, you can take the whole egg and just crack it in here. Put that over to the side. We're going to take a teaspoon of mustard. Move that out of the way. So, I always like to. There we go. Teaspoon of mustard. Put that over to the side. And we're going to take a teaspoon of. Um, white wine vinegar okay now we're gonna take a teaspoon of lemon juice or you can use half of half a lemon Ooh, smells good. you can also use lime juice if you don't want to use lemon tastes basically the same There's that. And we like to put a little pinch of sugar, make it get a little sweet flavor. We'll do two pinches, I like the little sweet taste of it. And a pinch of salt. This is sea salt on this one. We just salt it to taste. Then you pour in your cup of oil. This is avocado oil. Then you take your immersion blender and you set it right over your egg yolk. And make sure you got it on low and, and you can see it's kind of turning already. And what you do, you slowly move it up when it's emulsifying. You have mayonnaise. We'll set that over here. Well, I'm gonna lay it over here. Now, here's the big taste test. How does it compare to Duke's? Let's just see. 
Okay, so this is a brand new <laughs> jar of Duke's mayonnaise. We have to open it first. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so let's try. Sweet, a little tangy. <coughs> Pretty good. That's Duke's. I like Duke's. Let's see what this is. Spoon. Give me a spoon. Okay, now let's see what this one is. Let's take a little bit. It's mm, a little little runny, but to combat that, if you wanted a little bit more thicker, I know it's going to sound weird, but you add a little bit more avocado oil. I know that sounds a little counterintuitive, but trust me, it'll work. It'll make it thicker. I'll just... And we'll go back at this again and see what we got. Feel it getting thicker. Okay. Well, I can just taste it off of this. Let's just see how it tastes. It tastes, I think it tastes slightly better. You can taste the difference. You can. You want to try it? Yeah, on a sandwich. On a sandwich? Yeah, it is pretty thick, just like mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I better go for a little more. Go for a twofer? You want to see if it... Yeah. But you can taste kind of the difference between the two. Duke's has a sweeter taste. This has like a... Like, it's got a different kind of twang to it. I'm thinking right now it's a little bit better. But we'll know when I put it on the... Put it on here. I'm not going to salt it because I want to... Yeah, I want to taste the flavor here. All right, let's... Mmm. That's pretty good. Mm hmm So homemade mayonnaise is good. But... Not as good as Duke. That just ain't as good as Duke's. But it'll, it, but it'll get the job done. <coughs> it's good when you... When you're hungry. Well, yeah, that stay, can't go nowhere. You know? That's pretty good, folks. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. Leave a like if you liked it. And give us a thumbs up if you want to try this for yourself. It's our first time trying it. I think we've done a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that. Definitely going to use the rest of that. With us, it might, it might last a week, but... I think this will set in your refrigerator for about a week. <coughs> a little until sweet. It, until it goes a little... Until it gets a little bad. But... I think it ain't going to last a week. I can taste sugar in it. You can taste it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can taste a little bit of it. Well, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.
watch you take.